the uh, third and final fill site. Uh, this is at uh, Lake Baxter, uh, large lake. We got uh, North Hayes County coming in. You can see uh, they're running a couple things going on here. Uh, one, they have to deal with boat traffic, but they got uh, some portable pumps running, and they are running a turbo draft, and they're filling tenders with five inch hose. So let's take a look at this. They're uh, going into a portable tank and drafting out of that portable tank with one of Bastard's engines, uh, engine 241. 241 is a uh, 1,750 gallon a minute pumper. And let's go look at the water supply for this. So one is we got a portable pump down there. Portable pump at the end of the dock. And uh, that portable pump is one of those 500 gallon a minute CETs. And he's pumping back into the dump tank. And that's going into that uh, black plastic uh, PVC double elbow. That's the water from that uh, portable pump. Down here on the boat ramp, this is a turbo draft device. So they've stuck or they've uh, deployed the turbo draft. They're feeding it with three inch hose, and that three inch hose is giving a return in the five, and it's coming up, and it's going, uh, looks like maybe open butt into the dump tank. Uh, and again, so the goal here is filling in a thousand, and they are able to do that, not a problem. Uh, the good thing is that the, the spillover isn't huge, so when they're not filling, it just runs right back down into the lake. So pretty nice setup. Uh, fuel becomes one of the issues, you know, fuel consumption. So uh, that is always important to have that. We'll come down and take a look at their pump setup. Last time, if you remember the last bastard drill, they were set up over on that side and they were using a uh, engine, the uh, Heart of Pines engine drafting. This time they wanted to do something different. And uh, we're going to look right down in the water. Might be hard to see, but the red device is the turbo draft. So he's about uh, four or five foot down and then feeding back to that large dump tank. And uh, they're filling tankers full and they're closing and now they're ready to break and go. So another open relay operation is the way to use several smaller flow devices to uh, achieve a thousand gallon minute of fill rate, but it does require a pumper, and uh, that's really what works. Makes really what makes that work uh, the best.